Welcome back to another Dark Souls 2 lore through. Uh, I did a little farming off screen. Well, I got all the um, Lord Souls again, and that got me the old um, the old Souls. Uh, and we'll look over those later and um, and read them with whatever. But I'm going to attempt to take on Vendor here now. I for all um, transparency here. I have four giant souls, um, so I think that um, I should be good here, uh, although there's five, I'm not going to beat the ancient dragon just because I find that I don't like that fight, it's too hard for me. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do this with Vendrick and hopefully I won't die in two hits, which I usually do. So I don't know if this is the best setup to go with. I don't think you can parry him. Ugh. There we go. Okay, great. Pyromancy. Wow. I'm good. I'm glad I tried to guard break him. He doesn't have a shield and he never blocks. Should have gotten it there. Oh, I hate those. Those are his worst attacks. That's fine. But when he runs. Oh. The delay is terrible. We'll see a lot of that with Dark Souls 3. But, um. Like, the delay is just... Just... Sets you up for failure. Wow! <laughs> I should've gotten hit by that. Okay. Half health. The attrition is halfway through.
Throw a pyromancy at me again. <sighs> Wasted a roll. Okay, run up to me. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh no, I should have attacked. We get nothing for it. We get nothing for his soul. Or, <laughs> nothing for our soul. We get nothing. Um, we don't get a soul, we don't get an item. We just kill him. However... Um, let us go back to... The Shrine of Amana. Uh, we'll have to kind of go through here. So, <laughs> nice. Still got hit. Okay, so the one area that we haven't gone in the uh, um, Shrine of Amana is this little path here. Oh, what? 
<laughs> so we saw earlier that there was a uh, there was a dragon rider here. I guess did he fall off? Did I miss it? Or maybe there's a dragon rider, and then if you have killed Vendrick, there is not. But yeah, there's a door here, and the only way that this door can open is if you're human and is and you've killed Vendrick. Which we've done now. And this is a huge lore thing. So there's a chair here. And there's the area over here. But we get Soul of the King here. Uh, I don't know what... We'll read all these, of course. Soul of the King, which is uh, similar to the Great Ones. As you can see, I've killed all the Great Ones again. Lost the Soul of the Lost Sinner, Soul of the Iron, Old Iron King, and the Rotten. And then, of course, Freya, you get Freya's soul, but you, the Great One is the Pale Drake. Or is, it's just a Great Soul on the ground, so you don't actually get it in your inventory. Uh, and we'll read these in a second. But anyway, Soul of the King. Soul of Vendrick, King of Drang Lake. This great soul beckoned the dark, overwhelming the king. Perhaps this king, who once ruled the world of men, was lacking vessel for the true throne. Use the soul of he who would link the flame to acquire numerous souls. I guess this, 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 um kind of stands out from Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3. I mean, Dark Souls 3 is like an end to the whole story, but like, in Dark Souls 1 we talked about, you know, Gwyn and the person who linked the flame, and, you know, we now we kind of jump in Dark Souls 2 to much uh, further in the future, and we think about the idea that many have linked the flame since Dark Souls 1. I mean, we did. Uh, as the undead, like, as the chosen undead in Dark Souls 1, we linked the flame. I mean, you had the option, but you can, ha you could have linked the flame. And it's interesting because it's, this is, this is a king who would have linked the flame. So it's a very different story. You know, they were at the War of the Giants. Uh, Nishandra, you know, had come over and was a little bit corrupting of Vendrick's um, plans. And I think Vendrick realized this. And he, um, you know, was like, I don't think, you know, the gr this great soul beckoned the dark. This great soul is what brought Nishandra. You know, uh, we, we will read more about stuff with the DLCs. We will read stuff with Shulva and the Broom Tower and the Ilium Lois that will show similar stories. But I mean, in this, in the main story, the one that we actually inhabit, you know, Vendrick beckoned Nishandra, whoever that is. You know, um, we don't know much about her except that she was the queen, but it beckoned her. And that overwhelmed the king. Perhaps this king, who once ruled over, uh, ruled the world, huh, who once ruled the world of men, was lacking vessel for the true throne. I don't know what that means, but I mean, I think you know he was going to link the flame, but couldn't. And I think it's because maybe he understood what Nishandra wanted. And in that regard, he came up with this elaborate plan. He he used um, the Shrine of Amana to great effect. He went to go hide there behind the undead crypt and and made it so that the Shrine of Amana would block those such as Nishandra. He placed um, his soul behind a door. He detached himself from his soul and placed it here and uh, locked it in such a way that you could only get it by being human and by being uh, having killed him. I don't know exactly how that translates in the lore of the game, but like Nishandra certainly couldn't have gotten in this door. Um, and then, and, and then, it, it, like, he was protecting the world from Nishandra. It's clear. 
you know, I mean, I think uh, we'll, we'll see more. Uh, we'll uh, we're gonna fight Nishandra in a little bit here, but and then we get the king's stuff. Hopefully, oops. Hopefully, this has. Um, let's see, crown of Vendrick, king of Dren Lake. What makes a king? I mean, this is a thing we've been asking since, you know, we came to the Shrine of Amana. Like, what is a king? Who cares about kings? But what makes a king? What makes a true monarch? Some say that it is birthright, while others call it destiny. Perhaps it is not important as long as the king's name serves to unite his people. I do like that. I do like that description. Is it birthright or destiny? In other words, they're the same thing. Was he born into it, or was it his destiny, and therefore he was born into it? Okay. So. We now know. Well, I am saying Nishandra is the enemy here, <laughs> and we know that King Vendrick knew this. And so, let us, oops, I hit the wrong location. Uh, we're gonna need the king's seal, hopefully. Maybe it'll open now, because we have the ashen mist heart and all that. Nope. Okay. Oh, we have it. Okay, good. Yeah, I was doing the memories a couple episodes ago. And now... This time, when we come through this door, we are greeted by the one who calls herself the Emerald Herald, but we learn her true identity here. My journey is already complete. My name is Shanalot. The dragon gave me this name, for I was born with none. I was born of dragons, contrived by men, by ones who would cause him fate herself. They are the ones who created me, but they failed. I did not come out as intended. Fate would not be bested, and men were cursed once again. If you proceed, Nashandra will come after you. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire. She covets the first flame and the great soul. Put Nashandra to rest. Yeah. There's a lot there. Um, she was born of dragons. She was given no name. But she was contrived by men. Uh, so she is a, a uh, she is an Aldia of creation. I believe that Aldia um, used dragons to create Shanalot, the Emerald Herald, or Shanalot, and uh, and then she tells us that. Um, that Nishandra, the queen, um, is uh, interested in what we have now, and that would be uh, this. Um, I mean, this is the thing that triggers a Nishandra to fight you. Uh, so this is what she was seeking. I don't know exactly what that means, but she says that she's coveting the first flame and the great soul. She wants power and I think that's what she was manipulating Vendrick for. However, Vendrick 
who she um, kind of disdains when we speak with uh, her. Uh, actually, let us let us go back and speak with her. I think we can still speak with her. Maybe now that we have the kin, the giant kinship, we can't. Um, maybe she's gone. But I think uh, she does have some dialogue after, and I probably should have been. I should have gotten like the Ashen Mist heart and then talked to her. Hopefully we can still talk to her. Nope. Yeah, Giant's Kingship, she's gone. Well, yeah. Definitely have to uh, check that out. Um, <laughs> try to find that on YouTube or something. Um, but, um,. She has some dialogue uh, after that. I don't think it's game-breaking dialogue. I don't think it's like, oh, like, the whole game changes once you hear it. But it'd probably be interesting to hear what she says um, once. Um, I wonder if she has, like, dialogue for everything, like, once you've killed Vendrick and blah blah blah, as long as you don't get the giant's kinship. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, and Shanelon is gone. Okay. So, as I said, this is called the Throne of Want. Um, as, um, you know, we've heard many times, want is the same as the curse, which is the same as living. This is a very different message than the first Dark Souls. I think Dark Souls deals with spiritual. Uh, Dark Souls One deals with spirituality in different ways. It talks about undeath, humanity, prophecy, uh, you know, ringing of bells to awaken the old ones. But um, in this regard. Um, Dark Souls 2 talks about how humanity, life, and want, and dark, and peace are the same thing. So now we can... <laughs> Bradley of the Old Guard. Oh, I feel like I have to summon him. We can do Ben Hart. We don't need to do him anymore. And of course we can do... Ven I, I say of course, but um, I just mean... Um, he, used to, he was always here... Um, in, in the original game, but I, uh, <laughs> we should have run into him after Duke's Dear Freya, and we didn't, so he wasn't here when we did Throne Watcher and Defender. But he is here, um, as he is in the original game. So I'll do Vengarl, and I'll do a Bradley of the Old Guard, and we'll see. So now, apparently, we're gonna come and try to, like, go into the throne, and so that's the, like, narrative that you should consider here um hey vengar oh i should uh i should talk to vengarl we, we we have plenty to do uh as loose ends but fortunately beating the game like d defeating the chandra doesn't start new game plus unless it does in this one i don't know <laughs> um I think it'll be good. Uh, so, uh, hi, Ving Girl. Hi, hi, Bradley. Um, let's uh, go. And so we're going to... This is apparently us trying to go and link the flame or not link the flame. And then now that we have the giant's kinship, Nishandra... And, you know, as Shanalot has said, you know, Nishandra's going to be like, Oh, it's got everything I want. This is what I wanted. I want the old soul. I want the you know i want all the great souls defeated i want the giant's kinship i want everything and that's going to give me the power to get what i want so i don't know how this plays out yeah we walk in oh and the chandra's just there she's got the predator grave undead you have Proven yourself to me. Yeah, that's what this is all about. She's got cool armor. Now, 
be one with the dog. Okay. So yeah, she her first kind of main move here is creating these uh, these little cursey things. I don't know if I'll spend a lot of time destroying them because she always just recreates them. Yeah, you just keep constantly get cursed. Wow, that's like all my life. Okay. Let's just concentrate on uh, taking her out. Yeah, I think we'll be fine here. Ooh. Ooh, I did not remember that, uh... She kind of reminds me of Nito as well. She uh, has, um, you know, her skirt is made up of skeletons, and she has an area of effect. Wow. Creates these things. You can defeat them. These are close to the edge. Now we can also. Uh... Oh! <laughs> For a second there, that she died. Decoys, this is not a difficult fight. I gotta say. I mean, it's not a terribly difficult fight as in any case. It's just that the, um, the cursed things can be a little bit annoying. Many moments have come and gone. But then... One round of poison. Old Iron King and the Rotten. Oh. Never mind. Not one of them stood here. As you do. That was reference to the DLC. Conqueror of adversity. Room Tower, Shalva, and Alien Moise. It was your answer. So now, because we've done this, that we have to fight Aldia some for some reason. And I'm not like a huge fan of this fight. Um, it seems tacked on, and um, you know, I mean, it wasn't in the original. And you get burned by the flames. And he just like basically disappears in different regions, and then he, you have this limited period of time where you can uh, fight him. Bradley of the Old Guard is so powerful. And then he has some pyromancies. I don't know. It's weird. Oops. Obviously, so yeah, here's the thing. It, the I guess you probably have looked at it, but it says Aldia Scholar in the first scene right here. Looks like he has some chaos that he's dealing with here. Oh wow, he disappeared and reappeared in the same exact position. So yeah, if if, if I hadn't beaten Throne Watcher and Defender before I received all received all the items, like I would have had to fight three bosses at once. I don't know. It's a little weird. Like, I'd beat the Throne Watcher and Defender, then I'd beat Nishandra, and then this guy would come up. And it's like... I don't know.
Since this guy isn't that interesting of a boss, it's kind of just like, oh. Uh... But, let's, uh... I don't know, I guess it's meaningful that we beat the Scholar of the First Sin for some reason. Oh my god! Oops. Well, at least I can summon people now. Um, with, uh, actually I should also, now that I've done this, I should, oh, ring of blades. So what was I? Chloranthi. What, I, what should I, uh, what should I put on for this fight? There's not a lot of stuff. I mean, I guess I could take, uh, I could put on the, uh, what is it? Yeah, this one, right? Oh, uh, no, that's Ring of the Dead. The one that gives me, um, resistance to everything. There. Dispelling, right? So, yeah, I can take resistance to fire, and to dark, and to all that stuff. We'll try that. Um, but, yeah. Aldia. Attacked on boss. He appears... You can hit him for five seconds and then he's flame, so you have to wait around. I guess I could, um, I could get out my bow and try to hit him there. Really encourages, uh, ranged fighting. It's fine, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know if summoning more people is good, so let's just get Bradley of the old guard. And then we can, uh, have a limited, we'll have, okay. That's interesting, he has like a, f a pyromancy, like, thing that Logan had. Logan was also interested in He was also interested in the similar things like the Duke's archives and stuff like that, so. Isn't this a fun boss? He does seem to have like a chaos nature to him. Like, it seems like the better chaos attacks and like branches and pyromancy. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh 
hope you enjoy the fight, because, um, it's not that fun to fight, to, to play. Ugh. Are you joking? Oh. I thought every time he disappeared and appeared it was the same, but uh, apparently not. Oh, great. That's what I needed right now. I was like, you know what? I really think that getting to this boss that I hate playing, oh, is, uh, yeah. We've tried to wake this guy up like a million times and he won't wake up. So I'm like, okay, good. He's not gonna wake up. It's simple. Nope, he's gonna wake up after we've died to all the uh, three times. Um, so in my original game, they, they have patched Aldia in there, in the bonfires, and also as a boss fight. So I have played him quite a bit, uh, probably like three or four times, but I mean, you know, I, it's just not a great boss fight, so I mean. I suppose I should like Wow. Where's my assholes? I just want to get my souls. Why are you standing on my souls? So that I can't get them. I'm just being really impatient, I guess, because I don't like this fight. Okay. Um, of course, I'm going to try to go in here and then take off my health. Ugh, that's way too long. I'm like nervous that I actually don't know like a move that he's made and that like he'll be at like 2% health. Oh my god. Oh, 
I'm actually surprised that that hurt me more. Okay. They're all shooting Bradley on the guard. Keep shooting him. Okay, this is going to be it. Oh no, this is what I die every time. Oh no. Wow, this is so like, this is anti-fun. Okay, good. I've defeated Aldia of the Scholar of the First Sin. Oh, I feel so, uh... I feel I so... I have a and remain here patiently. The throne will certainly receive you. But the question remains... Why can you talk if we kill you? What do you want? Tell me. Light, dark, or something else entirely? No, that's Dark Souls 3. Yeah, so in the original game they didn't give this. So if in in the original you could only walk to the throne and take it. So and now they show you very obviously that you can go to the throne and link the flame or you can go dark. Of course I'm going to go dark as always. And I've never seen this cutscene. Please tell me serpents come out. Primordial serpents. There is no path. Beyond the sleep of life, beyond the reach of death. And yet we seek it insatiably, such as our fate. So yeah, Tanamura, it's interesting that they list him as the only director because they originally had another director and he kind of took over and I think he saved the project. I think it was going to be terrible. Like Nakamura seems to be a, the name that rings true. I'm like, oh, I think it was Nakamura, the original director. Um, but yeah, I think that it probably would have been terrible, um, without, um, the change to kind of bring it back to Dark Souls. And so, we can't skip this, so, I hope that they, uh, keep it the same, <laughs> that I'm not forced into New Game Plus from defeating... Nishandra and Aldia. So yeah, I mean, that's Dark Souls 2. Um, I'm not saying it's, uh, you know, equatable to Dark Souls 1 in the sense that it's... I, I, I don't think it's better, I don't think it's worse. Um... Like, I like them for different things. I think that Dark Souls 2 gets a, a rap that it shouldn't. Um, you know, if this were another IP, if someone, if this has just been like a non Dark Souls game where they changed some of the details of some of the things, I don't think anyone would have complained about this. Uh, they probably would have. But I mean, I think the reason that it gets the brunt of the assault is because it's a Dark Souls 2 game. 
and it's not like Dark Souls 1. And that was reinforced by the fact that Dark Souls 3 was very similar to Dark Souls 1. Um, but I think, you know, the world building they did, the, the way that they connected this, this to the first game, the, uh, you know, I think a lot of the mechanics that carried on Dark Souls 3, I mean, people ignore them, that they weren't, have, they weren't in Dark Souls 1, and they are in Dark Souls 3, and they love them in Dark Souls 3, but ignore that Dark Souls 2 really made those a mechanic. Um... You know, there was a lot of things unfinished about Dark Souls 1, and they fixed it with Dark Souls 2. So, um, I will say that this is my first a Dark Souls game, so, uh, you know, a lot of people might be like, well, you know, you like it because it was your first, and that might be the case, and I'm fine with that. Um, but in this, at this stage, now that I've played, you know, 1, 2, and 3 in Bloodborne and Demon Souls, extensively I, you know with a, with the exception of demon souls i played them all of them multiple times like at least seven times a piece you know and i would say that um you know it, it you know i i feel like i have some unbiased opinion of this game and i think that although i might not go to the grave and say that this is my favorite of the series that i think that it it kind of spun gold out of trash. Um, I think that there was a lot of stuff going on here that, like, you know, I, I, I can't know the full story, but I think that, you know, there's some aspects of this that I'm like, wow, that's really interesting. And then there's some aspects that I'm like, ugh, it's terrible. Um, so, you know, I think... Like, it's funny because, again, Dark Souls 2, compared against, like, most other games, still people are like, oh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great game. It's way better than, you know, X, Y, and Z. So, it's funny that it just gets a terrible rap. But I, I wanted to do this series because, not that I think the lore is the best in this game, but because I think that there is a... Oh, yeah, Shibuya, there it is. Tomohiro, Shibuya, Yui, Tanimura. That's the two guys that did it. Um, not because it's a great lore uh, game, but just that it's, you know, like it's not crap. You know, I mean, there is substantial content here and content which they expand upon in Dark Souls 3. It's, um, you know, it like honors Dark Souls 1 enough it's like it's a bunch of, I, I can't even say anything definitively like in one sense they throw away a lot of the lore and they don't build up on it and I think that's bad but on the same sense like it's a world unto its own it has different cultures and different things it doesn't need to know who Ornstein was or who the original fire keepers were I like that uh, on the other hand they make references to things like for fan service and I don't like that but on the other hand you know they create their own uh, new like memes and new uh, concepts that exist like it's it's all four permutations exist in this game and you know I I don't know this is more of just like a rant to fill time while we're um, you know doing these credits that I can't skip but like I, I just think that you know you know Dark Souls 2 good game uh, has some really cool stuff going on with it um, and most people like as I say when I was playing it People were, sh you know, this was before Bloodborne, this was before before uh, Dark Souls 3, and people will stream this game, they did PvP all the time, they played thousands of hours of it, and, you know, I, I put in like 300 hours of this my, uh, myself, doing PvP, and then when Dark Souls 3 came out, every single person was like, oh, by the way, Dark Souls 2 was shit. And I was like, wait, what? Like, we all played it. And we all, like, I don't know, it just, it seems like people really backtracked really quick on this game. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> if anyone's keeping a tally, my vote is yay on Dark Souls 2, even if it's not perfect. Um, 
Plus, even the people that are cynical about Dark Souls 2 love the DLC, and they think it's some of the best stuff that they've done. So, we'll be playing that in the future here. Um, I might start a Dark Souls 3 playthrough just because, you know, I did Dark Souls 1, I did a whole, like, you know, Dark Souls 2 playthrough, and I'm, I'm kind of, like, have that feeling where I want to, like, continue on and get to the next game in the series. I do love the lore of Dark Souls 3. Not as it relates to the past games, but it's self-contained story. It's really cool. Um, I think it's the most consistent in terms of how, it, well, Bloodborne's kind of on its own and being really nice, but like, it's the most self-consistent in terms of like, item descriptions, uh, context clues from visualizations of the world and whatever, all that stuff, you know, it's just like outside of Gwyn and, and even this, you know, you can just like play it and, and if you were to look into the lore, you get that like, you know, self-contained story and it's really nice. Also, it contains the uh, Ring City DLC, which kind of like caps off the whole series as a um you know as a story um you know i think it, it takes a like a left turn which is cool because it's like it's not the end everyone wanted everyone wanted a story about gwyn or velka or whatever and it talked about a new character and it talked about the essence of what the dark soul is and you know it's it, it's interesting they made some cool decisions there so uh I think I might want to do that. Okay, yeah, begin journey two. Cool. So, to end this episode, um, because, okay, looking at my stuff here, um, yeah, I'll, so here's what I'll do. I will, um, I'll do one more episode here before we do the DLC. Uh, it might be a short one, but um, um, this will be all for this time, and then we'll uh, l read all the le rest of the item descriptions from the boss holes and kill all the NPCs next time, and then um, we'll do the DLCs after that. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk uh, in the next episode. Bye!